Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're going to be going over another mod and this one is Aquaculture 2. And it adds so many cool stuff including armor, tools, and well, fishing! Lots and lots of extra fishing stuff. So let's just get started first of all we're going to take a look at all the stuff like i said this is the armor this is also what i have on it gives you special stuff so helmet improves your underwater vision uh chest piece allows you to breathe underwater leggings makes you weightless underwater and neptune boots increases your swim speed so pretty cool and then like with the weapons the sword increases damage against enemies underwater. Pickaxe and usable without ah, excuse me. Usable without speed penalty underwater. The axe increased damage against enemies underwater. Uh, the bow makes arrows go smoothly through water. And there's a couple more. There is a hoe and a shovel so let's take a look at these the hoe is really really cool because the hoe gives tilled farmland keeps it moist and then the shovel usable without speed penalty underwater so let's take a look at put that one back up there let's take a look out here look at this i'm so proud of myself i built a beautiful house to go with this one yep yep not problems in it every time but so even though this is not anywhere near water as you can tell the minute I hoe it it's moist and it's gonna stay that way so that makes this the best hoe in Minecraft just saying all right and then there's all these different kind of fish these are um, <clears throat> excuse me these are fish mounts and the cool thing is when you mount them up here you can tell what they are so there's Atlantic cod blackfish halibut salmon herring uh, Atlantic halibut uh, Pollock rainbow trout Bayard synostics yeah all these different kind of fish including look at this jellyfish isn't it so cute I think it's so cute now most of these fish you will um use them to make fillets and we'll get into that because you have to make these special fillet things to do that but there's a couple of them like goldfish you actually turn it into golden nuggets and then there's red shruma which turns into red mushrooms brown shruma which turns into brown mushrooms and then you can also catch frogs which give you frog legs and then the frog legs are kind of cool because you can cook them and then you have cooked frog legs and then there's these turtles and they're just box turtles but uh, we can use those and cook them in a recipe too and we'll go over that in just a minute but yeah this is some pretty cool stuff now one of the things we're gonna go over uh, we will do that in just a minute. But one of the cool things is you can make different fishing rods as such. You can use your regular fishing rod, of course, but you're not going to catch a lot with it. So this, we're going to have a tackle box, which is this thing right here. And if you click on it, you put your fishing pole here and you can add extra stuff to it, which is pretty cool. But even the right making these other fishing rods there's iron gold diamond and neptonium and making these gives you different bonuses so the um doesn't say right here but iron uh, i don't remember what iron is but it gives you oh here we go now the hooks gives you different things also but the fishing rods well the Neptunian one says something. Fish are more likely to bite. Of course, because that is the Neptunian ingot, and that is exclusive to this mod. All right, so an iron hook will give you 20% chance to not use durability. Gold is increased luck. Diamond is 50% chance to not use durability. Light hook casts farther. Heavy hook casts shorter. Double hook, chance to cast two things. A redstone hook increases how long you have to reel the fish in. 
A note hook plays an alert when a fish is approaching, which is kind of cool. And a nether star hook, which is 50% chance to not use durability and increase luck. So that's like combining these together. All right. So let's look at some of the crafting recipes and then we'll actually go outside and, well, fish a little bit. All right. So for the iron fishing rod, it's like you would craft a regular fishing rod, except you're going to do iron ingots. And then for the gold, you're going to replace it with gold ingots. Diamond, place it, replace these two with diamonds. And the neptonium, two of the neptonian ingots. Next, we have a fishing line, which is an iron ingot with four strings surrounding it. And a bobber. That's right, we can also... Uh, Customize these. Huh, ah, tongue tied. So this is two clay and a nautilus shell, which of course you get by fishing. So the bobbers and the fishing line, you can actually die now. So when you go fishing regularly, let's take let's just take a regular fishing rod. If you go fishing normally, you're just gonna cast your line here. And it's always the red and white. And the string is always black, right? Okay, so we're gonna change it up and make it a little bit different. So we're gonna take this fishing line and we're gonna make it purple. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna take the bobber and make it black. So you can do it any color you want with any dye. So then we're gonna go into our tackle box put our fishing rod in there and we can this is where we can add bait and other stuff too but we're going to add our fishing line we're going to add our bobber and then we're going to take our fishing rod out that's where we would also add the extra hooks and bait if we had it but now if you look the fishing line is purple and the bobber is black so it makes it really cool because you can truly make your fishing rods your own. Now you can fish without bait. You are more likely to catch something, however, with bait. And with a better hook, of course. So, and then if we go in the water here, not only can you catch the fish, I just saw one. Ah, nope, nope, that's the regular ones. Uh, you can see the fish in here too. So you could actually catch them like you would the regular Minecraft ones. But I don't see any right here. Now the fish are biome specific. So you can only get certain fish in certain biomes. So that is something you're going to want to keep in mind. Alright, let's get back inside and I'll be right back. Alrighty. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of this and then we'll play with um, the fishing rods a little bit and see some of the goodies you can get fishing that's right you can get extra goodies fishing all right so next we're going to talk about the tackle box now of course i just showed you what it does so the tackle box now it can either be kelp algae or something else but then you're going to take five iron and block of iron and any kind of chest in the middle it could be a chest trap chest you know and that'll make your tackle box now you only need one because you can use it over and over again. And you can even store some stuff in it uh, to use for your fishing stuff later. All right, so this one. All right, so then for the fishing mounts, and you can do different, uh, not just oak. You can do oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, and dark oak. Just like, you know, all the different types of wood. All right, so for that, you're gonna use an iron fish hook and five oak buttons or whichever type you're trying to do. Now to make the fish hook, uh, the iron one, you're gonna take four iron ingots in a, well, a hook pattern. Now to make the other ones, you're gonna need an iron hook or two um, and then to make the rest of them. So for gold, you're gonna take the iron hook in the middle four gold nuggets for the diamond iron hook with four diamonds for the light hook the iron hook with four feathers the heavy the iron with four iron nuggets 
the double, you need two iron hooks. Then for the redstone hook, you're just going to use the iron hook with four redstone dust. The note block, the note block, uh, note hook is just going to be an iron hook with a note block. And the nether star, a diamond one, the only one that you use something different, a diamond one with a nether star. Nice. Now, we're also going to need these fillets, uh, these knives. Uh, they are fillet knives. And you're not going to want to use them for attacking stuff. You're just going to want to use them to cut up your fish. So the recipe is going to be pretty much the same. You're going to use a stick and two whatever. So for this one, the wooden one, you're going to use two planks. For the stone, you're going to use two any kind of stone. So cobblestone. Uh, iron, you're going to use two iron. Gold, two gold. Diamond, two diamond. And Neptunium, which this one is completely unbreakable, to Neptunian ingots. Now, here's what you're going to do with it. You're going to put it in your inventory, and you're going to put a fish next to it. Now, I put the halibut here because the type of fish depends on how many fish fillets you get. Now, the halibut gives you the highest amount, which is 14. And then the fish fillets, what you can do with them is cook with them, and it'll make cooked fish fillets. Or there's a couple recipes you can use them with. So for instance, you can take a raw fish fillet and seagrass, which you just use shears on the seagrass, and I'll show you that in a minute. And that'll give you sushi, which is awesome. You can eat sushi in Minecraft. And then turtle soup. Now it's any of these turtles, but I just put this one here. So it's a turtle, a bucket of water, and a bowl underneath the turtle. And that'll give you turtle soup. Sounds kind of disgusting, but actually, you know what? We're hungry, so. Yep. I feel disgusted. <laughs> anyway, so the armor is going to be made typically the way you make armor. So five in a helmet shape for the helmet. Um, seven in this shape for a chest plate. Whoops. <laughs> Um, six in this shape for the leggings and four in the shape for boots. And then the weapons are made the typical way you make the weapons, except for you use the Neptonium ingots. So there's the sword, the pickaxe, the shovel, the axe, the uh, hoe, and the bow. And that is it for that. So let's go take a look. And of course, as you see, cooked fillets. Now there are a couple other things you can get when you fish. You can get leeches, you can get these treasure boxes, which we're going to take a look at, and as you see I got bone meal. Uh, we're going to take a look at the treasure boxes because depending it, um, which kind of box it is depends what kind of loot you get in it. And then there's also this worm farm. <clears throat> so there is the worm farm, which is f four fences, a piece of dirt, and three planks. Now this worm farm is kind of cool. It Think of it kind of like the composter, because that's kind of like the vibe it's got going on, right? So you can do two different things with it. You can get seagrass, of course, from the bottom of the water, or you can simply use seeds. So what you're going to do is just click into it. And as you see, it's going to fill up. And as we fill it up, we're going to go in and we're just going to right click. And it's going to give us a worm. So the importance of this is this gives us something we can add to our fishing rod. We can go in here and add a worm. So then we have a worm added to our fishing rod. So now let's go ahead and add, let's say... Why not? Let's do the nether star one. And this is just the iron one. This isn't even the best fishing rod. But now we have all this added to our fishing rod, right? And the other types of bait you can use, uh, you could also use... Oh, it won't take that out until we use it. Okay. But um, there's also leeches you can fish up. Uh, there's 
like wood plank or wood logs that just turn into planks and then there and I put one down here too just because I think having it down here makes it kind of cool right all right so now if we fish we'll catch something quite a bit faster um, because we have all this stuff on it and we should get well possibly something pretty good and of course there we go so now we caught one of our first other fish so if we put it up here with the flay knife then we could flay it so there's the leech and then uh, let me pull them out because I forgot okay so the other two things the tin can and the drift the wood the driftwood you just put in your inventory it'll give you planks and the tin can you can smelt and it'll give you um, some iron nuggets so let's go take a look at that um, but one of the other things I wanted to show uh, let's put this in uh, one of the other things I wanted to show you was some of the stuff that you can get from these loot boxes if you will so let me get all this put away because I want to show you exactly what they have in them because it's pretty cool all right so first we're gonna do the regular one this is like the worst of the worst box you can get okay so this one just gives you a whole bunch of well random crap so but you get these fishing and it's just a random chance um, but if we just open all this see we're just getting the same things but it just gives you like random stuff you know not bad it's okay but not like the best right so let's put all this in here but if you needed stuff it gives you some school cool stuff you can work off of and there we go all right so the next one is the lockbox now the lockbox gives you a little bit better stuff um, and let me get all these open and I will show you what all you can get okay so out of almost a stack this is what we got paper compass dandelion golden apples book nether quartz iron ingots clock gold ingots redstone dust glowstone dust and gunpowder so pretty cool okay the next one we have is called a treasure chest and as you would expect this one is the next here and it has treasures in it so this one has quite a bit of the same stuff but if you pay attention it's a lot of iron ingots diamonds gold and emeralds i don't think i've gotten anything else out of this other than those yeah just those four now there is one more but um it won't do anything if you get it in creative so you have to actually fish this up and that is a neptune's bounty now when you get one of these it actually has gear in it it has either gear or the uh, neptonium ingots blocks so that way you can craft these that's the only way to get this kind of stuff so pretty cool so let me go fish for a little bit and I will actually tell you how long it takes me uh, let's use a Neptonian fishing rod and let's see how long it's gonna take us to pick up one of these okay so I fished a while for over there and wasn't having such good luck so then I came to the ocean and that's where I started picking up more stuff like tin cans and all that uh, another one I forgot to tell you is message in a bottle when you pick up that one it's just gonna when you open them it says weird messages <laughs> I'm not gonna show them all to you because it's kind of fun to read them uh, but we did get a Neptune's bounty and that was after not being at the ocean for that long so this one has a Neptunian sword and as you see it has kelp and seagrass but it can have all different kinds of stuff in here so it's pretty cool but I just want to demonstrate that to you and of course this is everything I got minus the message in bottle I pulled those out but this is what I got just from a little bit of fishing quite a bit of stuff so very very worth it if you have any questions or comments leave them down below but until next time this is Lava Temptress don't get burned bye